<sighs> Good morning, y'all. So it is Wednesday, September 7th, and today is my first day training a new employee. So I am getting the baby together, getting myself together. As you can see, I still got my bonnet. I haven't done my hair yet. I'm gonna take him to school and then do like a little bit of work and then I'm going to meet her at our inspection. So I'm gonna try to get as much footage as possible, but I don't know how it's gonna go because I am gonna be with her for like a good portion of the day. But I just wanted to pop in and say hello and yeah, welcome y'all to a another vlog. You in the past, I'm in the future. You 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 mad they don't salute you. I need a bad so if you're new here, my name is Keila Trishan. I make videos on lifestyle, insurance, and mental health. I also do vlogs, Dan Life in the Insurance Industry, Dan Life with the Toddler, all the things. I also have Carpet Chronicles. Uh, so if that's something that interests you, definitely go on ahead and click that subscribe button below. Be sure to turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything from me. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back and thank you for your support. Um, so yeah, right now I'm actually about to get the baby's breakfast together. We're running just a smidget behind, like not that bad. He slept in a little bit longer, which was fine because I gave me a chance to, you know, get my life together. But I'm about to just, you know, pack his little snacks and then I'm going to get him dressed. So yeah, let me go ahead and do that. But I need to have some water because it's still like 8 million degrees and it's only freaking 7, 7 in the morning. So yeah, let me hydrate and then get my life together. <laughs> to go to school yeah. yeah what you guys gonna do today play with, kids. play with kids okay that makes a lot of sense you're gonna do a lot of learning you're gonna learn some colors and some shapes you, you might paint that is an orange bus you don't miss anything All right, y'all, so I just dropped off the munchkin and I am now like heading back home so I can work. Um, I was just telling my husband that we gonna have to have a little better system because all this running around in the morning is just too much. Like I didn't have uh, a lot of his stuff like ready. And then it's like, you know, just trying to be on a toddler's time essentially <laughs> is what was going on. So I uh, was just running a little bit behind and Again, it's not a big deal because I am salary so I like typically take this part of the morning to take him to school but then because like actual preschool is in it's like much busier so I like to drop him off right at 8 not like leave at 8 um, but basically like the the goal or the requirement is to get him there before 9 a.m. Um, I have to get him there before 9 a.m. because of my work schedule so yeah anywho so I'm headed back as I was saying before I have uh, an inspection with new employee so she's basically just gonna like shadow me it's not for like another hour and a half or so we have a team meeting before but I'm probably gonna get on the road during the team meeting to like head to the inspection so we're not late because I don't want to be there all day and then also she lives like not super far from me but like in SoCal traffic is kind of far so I want to um, you know take her to go and see the claim and then eventually go and you know it's like a coffee shop or something take her to uh like just write the estimate and all that good stuff so yeah that's what we're gonna do and again i'll try to get as much footage as i, as I can but i don't know how much i'll be able to capture so just want to check in with y'all you know in these little pockets all right you guys so i have my team meeting in the next five minutes i just got back home had some coffee because i hadn't had any coffee before i dropped off little guy and just like going through my emails and stuff it's funny because i have an away message on my email and on my voicemail and this one lady that is like getting on my last nerve like i sent her everything she needed yesterday and i guess she has another question she like she made a comment about me being on vacation like oh no you're on vacation and i'm like yeah like there's more to life than you know like claims and being an adjuster <laughs> and she like quickly checked herself so like that comment just kind of rubbed me the wrong way because we get like so overwhelmed that we absolutely need our vacations i mean everybody does but i'm just speaking from an adjuster's standpoint like people get so caught up like we just shouldn't take breaks but that's neither here nor there but she just left a voicemail and I would have answered it but then the meeting starts in a few minutes and I just know it's going to be more than a few minutes with her so she was like oh my god you're out again no um I have a question and you're the expert and I'm just like 
I'll call her back at some point today. Then the guy who I'm going to inspect today, he calls, like he had a question. I'm like, I'm going to be at the property today. Like, leave me alone. Anyway, what I wanted to say is I got this little perfume from Ulta. I don't know like how I found it. I think I was just like researching because I want to set my perfume game up because I have a lot of body spray, but yeah, I'm grown. That's why I need some perfumes, whatever. And I always have like one, you know, major perfume, but I was like, let me just, you know, start gradually getting some for when the bugs go away. But this one smells so good. So it is, it's by the brand Philosophy. It's called Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. And it smells like, like a warm vanilla sugar type situation. Um, it has like musk notes. I'm not really like super well versed on how to describe perfumes, but it's that type of scent. So if you like that type of scent, it's very like, it's kind of sweet, kind of sweet. Um, but I like like the vanillas and the musk and stuff like that. So if you guys are into that, you would really like this. And it was relatively inexpensive. I want to say it was only like $30 for this size. And this is the two ounce. So pretty affordable for a perfume. But yeah, anyway, I got three minutes before this meeting starts. So let me go on ahead and just set up. But I just wanted to tell y'all how annoyed I was with that lady. Like, leave me alone. And I got, I'm, I'm gonna probably hit him up after I like inspect. Like, why Why do we have to keep talking? We don't have to keep talking. Let me just inspect. But yeah, anyway, I'll talk to him a little bit. <sighs> y'all, it has been a day. Like, it has been a day. It's obviously the next day because I'm wearing my other shirt. But yeah, I was not able to get as much footage, but I told y'all that that might happen because I was uh, out inspecting with an employee, so a little different. And then uh, we were also inside of someone's home. Uh, forgive me if you hear the fan in the background, it's very hot, so that's why I have that running. But pretty much wanna kinda bring you guys up to speed on what's happened so far. So yesterday when I got done with the inspection and sitting with that employee, kind of going over the estimate and just like kind of the next steps for like entering everything in the system, we parted ways cause she had to go and uh, handle some family stuff. And I actually needed to get back to my side of town cause this claim was actually pretty far that we went to. Good thing was the customer wasn't there. It was basically just his uh tenants that were there not even tenants the water mitigation company was there so they just kind of showed us where the damage was which i actually like because i don't have anybody kind of like breathing down my neck you know so i was able to just you know get in get my measurements tell her what needed to be done and then get out so yeah we did that and then today we were supposed to meet up we were supposed to meet up today but i had to meet with this customer like a little bit earlier and she's coming from super far. So I told her we could just kind of do virtual. Like I'll go and inspect it. And then when me, me, when me and her get together, then uh, we could just kind of go over everything virtual. And then we're meeting up tomorrow to go on an inspection as well. So we can kind of reconvene. Also, it was a short week because of the holiday. Uh, Labor Day just passed. So yeah, there's that. Let's see, what else do y'all need to know? What else do y'all need to know? That's pretty much it right now. I am actually putting together are finalizing this estimate right now and I am going to work on this other one I have another tentative inspection but the gentleman did not answer his phone so I'm going to try to call him back shortly because if he can't inspect this week then we likely won't be able to and like I likely won't be able to inspect his claim until like two weeks from now so I'm probably just gonna have to rely on vendors but yeah that's pretty much all that's going on so I'm just essentially trying to work my desk between me helping her my new employee and uh you know just kind of getting back to my desk so i'm using this time wisely to get some things taken care of so it is like 11 o'clock and i haven't eaten yet so i'm about to get me some food but i wanted to check in with you guys since i didn't come back and got ghost yesterday so here i am yeah we can't hear you sir <laughs> You gotta say it again. <laughs> hey, you guys. So I don't think I said hello to you this morning, but it is like almost a week later. So I apologize for such a big gap. I think where we left off, as you guys know, I was training a new employee. I'm still training that new employee. We're actually gonna have a virtual session here in like 20 minutes. We just got out of our team huddle. So 
I wanted to just kind of pop in and give you an idea of what happened last week and why I fell off and then just kind of what I'm doing today. So long story short, I was out like those days that I vlogged, I was out uh, for a good portion of the day and um, I was like physically training. So like showing how to do inspections and stuff like that, determining coverage, all that good stuff. And then with that, I still have my own claim. So I was, you know, just following up with people in the interim. There is someone that is monitoring my desk, but he's not equipped to do everything. So that was kind of like a whole situation. Um, just kind of having to jump in where he couldn't and things like that. And on top of it, the icing on the cake was that I was not really able to sleep that well because my son was having nightmares. Um, as you guys know, uh, if you don't know, my son is three years old. So he's at that age where he has nightmares and he just could not get back to sleep, which in turn meant that my husband and I couldn't get back to sleep. So I was literally running off of like three hours of sleep those two days. So yeah, it was a lot happening. And I want to tell you by the time Friday came, oh, oh it was hot too. It was hot. It was, uh, we were having a heat wave in SoCal. So I was just completely and utterly drained. So I basically just like chilled out the end of the week. My niece came over. So she hung out with my son. We were just, you know, just trying to get our lives together. My husband and I were both tired. So pretty much we took the weekend to just relax and rest because we knew the week was going to be busy. Uh, so this week I am training the new employee, but the last couple of days have been virtual which has been good because it's given me a chance to catch up on things and then also still train her. So that's cool. What I'll say also, what I wanted to kind of <laughs> tell y'all is that last week I was feeling away because I just didn't feel like I was properly set up to train. I felt like my workload should have been a little bit less. Like I should have been better set up because that's what I was told before I went into the training that I was going to have a chance to kind of like offload some of my claims without getting new ones. And that kind of happened where I wasn't getting new inspections but I was still getting like reassignments and just other things that take a lot of time so I was a little salty but I think on top of that like I said I was sleep deprived and all that stuff so I've been able to get some of get through some of a lot of the major things that needed to be done estimates that needed to be approved I have um people in temporary housing so you got to keep up on that because there are limits you know so things like that i've been able to kind of like get my bearings back i feel so i'm just trying to ride that until i end up having to get put back on claims which won't be until not next week but the week after so yeah i feel like i'm in, I'm in a way better position i feel way better mentally so that's where i'm at right now but basically um i have like a template they give us kind of like this template type situation where it gives us like a um like a list of different things we need to go over with the new hire. So she and I have been kind of getting through that. So I'm going to go through that in this next call. I also have an examining call later on, examining and legal, because we have a vendor that is trying to sue one of our insureds. I don't know if I talked about this in a previous video, but long story short, it was transferred from another adjuster, of course, and they didn't get involved. They kind of left the lady hanging. And now this vendor is trying to sue her, go after her house and all that stuff. So I'm trying to just help get it resolved because you know, the lady's calling me asking for updates and like, it's not even my department, but because I'm the handling adjuster now, she's calling me for updates. So I have a call today and I'm hoping this is the last call we can kind of come to a resolution because I've been kind of doing all the legwork as far as contacting the attorney, contacting the insurance attorney, contacting the vendor, all that stuff. So just a lot of little loose ends, but yeah, I'm hoping that I don't have to work too, too late today because I do want to work out. It's Wednesday and I haven't worked out at all. I worked out like Friday. So I only worked out one day last week just because of the heat and like everything that was going on. And then I haven't worked out this week. So yeah, I got to get my life together. But anyway, I just wanted to update you guys and I'll be back in a little bit to kind of let you know what's going on, probably on the next break that I have from training a new employee. so another successful training stint so i went through a lot of the little things that i need to go through with my new hire 
catching on very quickly and you know just really smart really sweet girl so i'm very excited to work with her it's always nice to have you know good co-workers whatever and i am going to work on some of my own stuff right now i'm actually putting together uh, a request from my manager to take a look at some housing that needs to be paid I need to charge this work phone because i have to get on a call as i was telling her i gotta get on a call at two no no 2 30 so we're gonna have she and i are gonna hop back on a call at uh two o'clock because we have like our training thing but then at 2 30 we're gonna break and then hop into this uh examining call the one i was talking about earlier but i want her to listen in on it because i feel like it'll be kind of good information she'll get to you know just kind of see how we handle planes that get escalated this is like one of those one-offs where we have to get legal and examining involved to find out like what's the best way to protect the customer but also protect the insurance company so um i think it'll be good the last time i got on the call about this claim the other department that is handling well the other department that i guess was initially making the payment on this situation they kind of took over the talking so me and my manager we were just kind of in the background not really saying nothing you know we were just kind of like flies on the wall but if they ask me questions then i hop in so i think this one they might ask me more questions only because i was the one who actually communicated with the attorney so they might ask me more questions and say this uh helicopter just won't let me be great but they might ask me more, more questions whatever um so we can try to get it resolved so i'm hoping and praying this is the last call and they just tell me go on ahead and you know issue this additional payment and i can just be done and I can close the claim. Like that is really the name of the game, closing claims. So I will let y'all know what happens after that. But like, well, right after that call, because it ends at three. So right after that, I got to go pick up little man. So yeah, um, I'll be checking in, you know, throughout. But right now it's on like 1142. So I'm just about to try to work some other little things on my desk. And then, um, yeah, continue to get my life together one claim at a time. All right, y'all, so it is time for me to take a break. I did have breakfast this morning. Thank God, it was a small breakfast. It was like yogurt, fruit, and granola. Uh, my coffee, of course, but I am kind of starving right now. I made some tacos last night, so I'm gonna have leftovers. You know, who doesn't love leftovers? And um, I'm gonna eat before I uh, jump into like some other calls and also hop on that call later. So yeah, let me go on ahead and make that. I'll show y'all probably the little shells or something, but. <laughs> I'm about to make that and enjoy my little uh, 20 minute lunch break. <laughs> So as you can see, I made the most basic tacos ever, but I don't feel like cutting up no tomato. I have some avocado that I could have put on here. I would have loved it, but I just really don't feel like it. And I kind of want to get back to work so I can finish as much as I can, so I can log out a little early today. Basically, I fried my shells hard. Like I don't like the hard shells that you buy from the store. That's too much. Like I like the texture of like just buying the raw tortillas and then uh, frying them myself. So I fry them like a little crispy. <clears throat> um, I have three. And then um, it's ground turkey, some uh, like Kobe Jack cheese, and then I had some lettuce cut up uh, from the beginning of the week for salad. So that is what we're working with. And then I'm gonna tell you about these. Uh, these uh, Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar. This is a cream soda one. These are really good. I need like a little caffeine boost because I am tired. So I normally don't drink soda with like with sugar, like just regular soda. But since they have like zero sugar, I feel a little bit better about it. And then the little glass straw, get these on Amazon. I, 
I don't, for some reason, I don't like drinking from the can. So I, you know, have my little straw. So anyway, <clears throat> I'm gonna sit over here, chill for a little bit on the couch, eat my food, and then I'm going to log back into work, finish what I need to finish. What time is it? It's 25, so I still have a while before I have to get back on the call, but I do want to get some stuff done before I hop on that call because, like I said, right after I'm done, I got to go pick up the baby. So, yeah, so let me go on ahead and just eat and stop talking. <laughs> So back online, I thoroughly enjoyed my lunch and um, I am just logging back on to see if a couple of things got approved while I was away. And it looks like they have not. Uh, so I think my manager is actually on lunch too, which is fine. Basically, I had sent in a payment for approval and I'm just waiting for that to get uh, looked at. Oh, I missed this thing from my coworker. I feel so bad. I need to respond to her. Uh, but yeah, so basically waiting for that to get approved so I can pay this lady, uh, we'll pay a vendor for her housing. And then there's a gentleman that I need to reach out to later on this afternoon, like via email. I'm not gonna talk to him because he honestly gets on my last nerve. So <laughs> I'm just gonna hit him up at the end of the day. So then if he responds, it'll be after hours now, I'll have to go to tomorrow. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. But yeah, I'm just gonna try to work through these activities. I don't have a lot. I'm pretty much at like one page. One page is like 15 activities. A bunch of them are just like kind of things I'm waiting on. So I'm just going to go through and see if there's anything I can move forward and then go from there. But yeah, I will check back in with you guys probably after I get off that call. So I can tell you what the, uh, the verdict was, like if we're going to be able to solve the claim or not. of hours and I had that call like I told you guys about so here is what happened with that nothing nothing happened it was literally just us going back and forth about what we should pay to get the customer off the hook versus what we should pay to this vendor like it was just it was a lot going on there's fees legal fees that we are likely not on the hook for and all that like so it was just a lot my stance was to just pay everything because I feel like the ball was dropped on our end, but you know, I'm not the final say. So this was, I don't know if I had kind of briefed you guys, but this is the claim that I took over. I'm pretty sure I did because I know I kind of give you all the information. But yeah, so I'm just kind of coming in on the tail end. I wasn't even working here when the claim like first opened and my manager wasn't even my manager when this claim, you know, first opened. So just a lot going on so pretty much we don't have a resolution yet so the other department is going to try to negotiate with this attorney to see if we can get them to go away so i'm just going to let the customer know i'm just going to let the customer know that that's where we are like we're still negotiating there's no resolution just yet she's trying to get it to be resolved quickly because it's been going on for a year because the other adjuster you know kind of didn't help out but unfortunately we're just not in a position where we could just close it out i wish we were so it'll be monitored until it's done so um, as soon as I got off that call, I talked to my manager for a little bit just to kind of see his thoughts and what he felt like I should say to the customer. He kind of gave me some uh, feedback and, you know, just things to do. And then I went to go pick up little guy and took little guy to his Nana, which is like a godsend because it allows me to get some work done until his dad gets home. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's it. That's what's going on. So it's pretty late in the day. It's like close to four. So I'm about to just uh, try to close up a couple things. Uh, there was a, a notification I told you I had to send this gentleman about his claim. So I'm going to go ahead and put that information together and send that to him. And then I need to return a call that I got while I was out uh, picking up my son. And there's like one more customer that I need to call. And then everything else is just kind of maintenance. Like I'm going to try to like work ahead on a couple of things because we all know in claims, it just randomly gets busy. So I just want to, you know, while I have like a little bit of time, I want to get some stuff done. So yeah, that's basically all I got for y'all today. 
I am sorry again for, you know, taking so long to come back to finish the rest of the vlog, but pretty much in total, all I'm doing this week and next week and then obviously last week is just training and just working on the claims that I have. So I'm not getting new assignments for like another couple of weeks, but yeah, so it's cool. It's fine. Um, I'll be fine. <laughs> You know, we're just going to keep on keeping up. But um, if you enjoyed this video, definitely go on ahead and give me a thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you have not subscribed, definitely go on ahead and click that subscribe button below. Be sure to turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything from me. And with that being said, you guys have an amazing day and I will see you next time. You, you, you mad, they don't salute you. I need a bag, size is super. They turned your back, it's like I never knew you leave that.